Hello, welcome to London Educators, and I'm Shopnil Arafat Nabi, and I'm teaching ACCA since 15 years in different countries, including the UK, Malaysia, and now in Bangladesh. Today we will be looking at financial management, the last paper of the skills level, so which was also previously known as the F9 paper. And the topic that we are going to look at today is the payback period. So what is the payback period? The payback period tells us how quickly are we get, going to get our re investment back. So if we have invested a one million pounds, how quickly is the money going to be recovered? Why is it important? Because nowadays when there is economic crisis everywhere in the world, it's very uncertain in the future. So we, we want the money to be recovered as quickly as possible instead of going into more uncertainties in the future. So when the prices might fall or when the economy might go down too much and we can instead start to incur losses. So we want the money to be recovered as quickly as possible. So let's look at this question. Brenda and Eddie are worried about the length of time it will take for the cash flows for the Parkway Diner to repay their total investment of $500,000. So that's 350000 to take over the business and 150000 to refurbish it. That's the total investment of 500000 Now, they are expecting the cash flows to be 70000 in the first year, 70000 in the second year, and 80000 in the third year, and then 100000 in the fourth year, 100000 in the fifth year, and finally 120000 in the sixth year. So what we need to see is at which point does our investment get recovered, right? So when we have recovered 70,000, so we have recovered 70,000 out of the 500,000. The next year when there is another 70,000, meaning that's a total of 140,000 recovered out of the 500,000. And then in the third year, another 80,000 so that will be a total of 220,000 recovered out of the investment of 500,000. Then there is 100,000, so that will be 320,000. And then another 100,000, 420,000. So we are almost there. In the fifth year, we are almost there. 420,000. 420,000. And our investment was 500,000. So 420, we just need another 80,000 to get back our original investment back. Now in the sixth year, we are not just getting 80,000, we are getting 120,000. But as far as uh, recovering the original amount is concerned, we don't need the whole of 120,000 uh, to just show the recovery of the original amount. So we don't need all the income from all the 12 months in the sixth year. We don't need the 12 months in the sixth year. So how many months do we need from the sixth year? So that will be 80,000 divided by 120,000 times 12 months. That should give you around eight months. So we need the whole of the first year, all the 12 months, and then we need all the 12 months in the second year, we need all the 12 months in the third year, in the fourth year, and also the fifth year. So we need the full five years plus another eight months from the sixth year. Why eight months? Because eight months is enough uh, to get all our money back, to, got, to get all the investment back. Now, Let's go and see the answer. This is how they have shown the answer. So the initial investment is negative uh, 500,000, meaning that's the outflow. And in the first year, when we get back 70,000, uh, the net outflow comes down to 430,000. In the second year, when we get another 70,000 back, then the net outflow, cash outflow, it comes down to 360,000. And then in the fourth, this is the third year, 
when uh, 80,000 comes back, then the cash outflow, the net cash outflow comes down to 280,000. And then in the fourth year, we get back another 100,000. In the fifth year, again, another 100,000. So by the end of the fifth year, our net cash outflow has come down to minus 80,000. So that's 80,000 still uh, locked up in the investment. And we need to get back just 80,000 to get back 80,000 to recover the original amount. Right. So, and that's what they have done here again. 80,000 divided by, in the sixth year, we are going to receive 120,000 and times 12 months. And that's going to give you eight months. So in the sixth year, eight months, the income coming from eight months will give us the 80,000 required. And as a result of that, we will have recovered the whole of the original investment. And after that, we might be making more profit because by the end of the sixth year, we will actually be getting in total 120,000. So perhaps we are going to make a profit of 40,000. But again, that's in the future. Uh, we are What we are concerned here is to get the money back, the original investment, to get it back, and then we can uh, we will earn profits. So payback period just talks not about the profit. It doesn't talk about the profit. It talks about how quickly we are getting to re getting the original investment back. So it's very much a risk uh, a, a risk oriented uh, method, and this is very much relevant in times like this when there is economic crisis going on everywhere in the world. Uh, you don't know what's going to happen in the future so you want to be uh, you want to look for short term investments or you want to look for investments which is going to give you the money back as quickly as possible uh, so that's what the payback period is used for and this was all about this topic and thank you for watching this video and until the next time goodbye bye bye